Hello, David here with RadiationHealthRisks.com. I appreciate you stopping by. We're going to do a meter review video, uh, video here. I'm super excited about it, but first I'm going to take this thing off. I don't know if you guys like those things, like wearing them. I do not like wearing those things at all. Have you ever been here driving down the road, some car passes you on the highway or you see them on the highway and they're wearing a mask as they're driving and you look and they're the only person in the car and in in anybody else in the car with them, but they're wearing their mask. They're protecting somebody. I'm not sure who they're protecting, but they're protecting somebody. Anyway, I think that's kind of funny. Um, to me, these things are just like trying to catch mosquitoes with a, you know, with chicken wire. Um, I've heard the medical professionals argue it both directions, and I understand the whole water vapor hanging onto the particle, um, which hangs onto the mask. I've I've heard medical professionals argue it both ways, um, and I've also heard medical professionals talk about if you're not constantly changing these and having a clean mask. The bacteria that builds up on the mask can actually get you sick. So, anyhow, uh, I digress. <laughs> I just, I was trying to be funny, but my wife tells me when you're trying to be funny, Dave, you're not near as funny as when you're not trying to be funny. <laughs> so, I try to take that as a compliment. But anyway, um, I digress. So, first off, let's... Uh, tell you that as always if you if you get any benefit out of this video not my humor but the actual information that's in it um, be, be sure to um, like the video uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell that so you'll be notified when we do future videos all three of those things are super super important help us with the uh, with the search rankings with YouTube we always really appreciate that because that really helps us get the word out so that's my little plug. So I want to talk about this, this meter here. This is the box that it comes in. It's, it's made in the Orient. It's Eric Hill EMF, EMF tester. Um, how I ran into this, um, I hadn't heard of it before, but on one of the other review videos that I did um, for a different meter, um, the somebody from this company made a comment on the on that YouTube video and asked me if I'd be willing to to review this meter. And I told them what I always told tell people when they ask me that. Uh, obviously, yeah, I'd love to. No problem. I'd love to do a review on it. Just know two things. Number one, you got to send it to me. If you're asking me to do it, send it to me. Uh, number two, I'm going to disclose my real feelings. In other words, I'm not just because you're sending me something for free. I'm not going to I'm going to give you my honest opinion of it, good or bad. These people, I told them that and they said, that's what we want. No problem. And they sent it to me. But most people, most companies are good companies and most companies will say that. But I just like to be full disclosure that I did not buy this, but that I am going to give you my my true opinion. I do that with with everything. So anyhow, uh, I've been playing with this thing since, let me get the camera, it's a little bit off there, I'm leaning. I've been playing with this thing a little bit since, uh, since, you know, this morning, kind of getting ready for this video. And the first off, the first thing I notice is the feel of it. It feels really solid. It feels, it's plastic, but it feels like a really quality plastic and it, and it just feels really solid. You know, some of the, the meters that you get, uh, especially in this price range, are, they just feel like a kid's toy. They just feel fake, you know, like they're not, not quality at all. But this one feels really solid. And when I've been playing with it, the battery seems to be really strong and it lasts really well so far on it. Um, so um, I'm impressed there. Um, the What this measures is this measures two of the three types, um, technically I consider them four types of EMF radiation. Um, the four types are uh, electric fields, magnetic fields, and uh, RF radiation or radio frequency radiation. The fourth is dirty electricity. Technically that's electric fields and magnetic fields and kind of RF radiation. It's radiation that's radiating off the wiring in your home. Um, this will measure um, 
just electric fields and magnetic fields. It doesn't measure for uh, RF radiation. And it's not the type, I mean, it, this will pick up electric fields and magnetic fields coming through the wall. But if, you ha if you're concerned about dirty electricity, which you should be, this is not the meter. You also need another meter, which is, is uh, you need a meter. And I, if you look on my YouTube channel or on my website, I have articles on called the Graham Stetzer meter. You need a meter that you can plug into each circuit so you can go circuit by circuit through your house and see which circuits have a dirty electricity problem and which don't. And then that way you can also plug filters into each circuit and see if a filter corrects uh, the, the problem on that circuit, brings it down into the safe range, or whether you need to get an electrician out to fix some sort of electrical problem. So, you, so to do that, you really need the type of, cert, of uh, meter that for dirty electricity that plugs into the wall. I get that question a lot. That's the only reason why I'm addressing it. Um, <clears throat> but this, what this meter is more for is especially people that are elect, uh, super, you know, sensitive, EMF sensitive, but just be like, I'm not EMF sensitive, but the, the electric fields, magnetic fields, RF radiation, dirty electricity, all of that is carcinogenic. If you go to my website, radiationhealthrisks.com, there's a tab in the main menu that said featured items or featured something, maybe it's just featured. You hover over that and you can go to the article called Scientific Studies. And, I, and I, that's a great place to start for um, uh, if you're going to do an in-depth research and actually read scientific studies and medical opinion or scientific opinions and things like that. Uh, I, I link to everything and I'm always adding to it when I find new studies. Um, and so that's a good place to, to study the dangers of EMF. Um, and also, if you find good studies that I don't have, I always encourage you to um, go to my um, one of my YouTube videos and in a comment, link that study that you found to, and I'll read it. And if it's if it's uh, one that I don't already have and it's a good one, I'll put it on on that page of my website. So I appreciate it. That also when people do that for me. So anyway, um, what this is more for electric fields and magnetic fields, any electric, any device that's electrical, you know, that's electrical, it puts off both electric fields and magnetic fields. And those are carcinogenic. They're not near as powerful as RF radiation, um, but they are carcinogenic. And that's why you'll notice my, my tablet, I have protection. I have it in a, uh, I think this one's by Safe Sleeve, but I have, you can, I can have this on my lap and I don't have to worry about the EMA, EMF radiation, electric fields or magnetic fields going through that into my lap. <clears throat> so you want to protect yourself from that. And the, this meter will uh, will measure both of those. Now I'm going to show you really quickly how this meter works. <clears throat> I've been playing with this this morning. And at first, the, the, the display, it, it kind of confused me for a second because um, I've never seen one i guess i've seen others but most of the meters that the meters i use all the time they don't display both results at the same time this one does you can see right here the top if i hold it up there you can see the top is e field and the bottom is uh h field e field obviously is electric fields h field is magnetic fields and i have this set that there's a button here where you can change how you read the magnetic fields. I, right now I have it set to milligauss, MG. Um, I always forget what the other one's called, micro tesla. It's UT is the symbol for it. Um, and you can change back and forth between micro tesla or milligauss right here. Um, so you can see where it's picking up uh, electric fields right now. This, it's, you know, it's got this, the camera there that's electric. It's got this tablet and, and the table here that this is all sitting on. There's, you know, outlets. It's uh, it, it, Here, I'll show you really quick what I'm talking about. You hold it down here next to this counter, it goes crazy because <laughs> there's a lot of electric fields and magnetic fields coming out of this counter just because of the wiring, electrical wiring that's in there. So when I do it, I have to, I have to hold it up here to, to be testing. 
So that's how that works. Um, the, the power button, it's got a feature on there that says hold. As I was reading the manual on that and playing with it a little bit, what it looks to me like that's for is if you get your, if you get a reading, like say you wanted to write it down, you're getting a reading and um, you press that hold button and it'll quit reading. It just holds that last reading that was, that it was reading when you press the hold button. Then you can take it down and it, it won't change. Oops, it's beeping on me. And then you can write it down and so forth. So that's what that's for. And then this middle button here, it's average or VPP. Average is the average reading. In other words, when it's picking up electric fields or magnetic fields, they're not constantly the same power. In other words, um, volts per meter, for example, with electric fields, it's not always going to be reading the same number. The number it'll go up and down. And so average just kind of gives you an average of all of them. Um, and peak gives you the, uh, if you're graphing out the reading, you know, it gives you the top, the peak of the graph. I like, I always use on any meter, I use the peak reading. Um, so that's that middle button there is where you can switch between average and peak. So that's pretty much how to do it. Now, some of you... Um, have seen my other video where I where I um, do a review on this. This is the tri-field meter. Uh, so this is the one we're going to be comparing uh, to this in, in, the, uh, in this video. The tri-field will measure electric fields, magnetic fields, and RF radiation. It's not my favorite one for RF radiation, but it does, it does measure it. Um, Instead of measuring both magnetic fields and electric fields at the same time, though, it has this dial switch where you can switch in between each, each whatever you're going to do. Um, this uh, tri-field is like, don't quote me on the price, but from what I remember last time I looked at it, it it's like $170, $180 for a tri-field, whereas this um, is $32. If you're trying to read... RF radiation or dirty electricity, though, this won't do it. So you'll need another meter. This one will do RF radiation. If you look at some of my other videos, you'll see whenever I'm testing something, there's another meter that I use called the HF35C. Anyway, you'll, it's a completely different looking meter. That's my favorite one to test RF radiation with. Um, but this one will read it. And you see, it's, you know, two different meters kind of in the, for the same amount of money. Um, this one's only 32 bucks for this, um, this meter here. So, uh, let's, like I showed you here, I'll show you that one more time. When I hold it down to this counter, it goes bonkers crazy. The electric fields coming out of that are pretty, pretty, uh, strong. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the electric fields and magnetic fields on this, uh, tablet. There we go. And let's get rid of that. All right. So if I hold it up here like that, it's picking up a little bit of magnetic field there. Let's see if I try it this other way. Now it's picking up some electric fields there. Oop, did this die on me? There we go. Huh. It's not picking up much there at the moment. I don't want it. Hey, okay, now something turned on on the on this. I'm not sure what I did, but now the magnetic field is going crazy. So when you're testing these devices, you want to turn them on different settings because I've noticed that that uh, something that just I bumped something and now this thing's going crazy with the magnetic fields. And now, yeah. So anyway, now let's test, turn that off for a minute. Now let's test, let's start with magnetic fields with the tri-field. Uh, see if you can see, that's the best way, there we go. So for magnetic fields, Move it around. It's uh, it's showing a little bit. 
wish I knew what I did that kicked it off that made that other one go crazy. Um, let's try electric fields. Okay, it's picking up electric fields, different amounts at different parts of the screen. Um, let's let's try this. This will give you a better example. This is a pair of clippers. Uh, I broke one down and bought me one of these after the first or during the first uh, COVID lockdown when all of the barber shops were closed. Um, but anyway, so let's uh, let's turn this on. So with the tri field, we'll start with the tri field. We'll turn this on. And you can see that I don't even have to get very close to that. And it maxes out the it maxes out that meter on uh, magnetic fields. If I get away, you can see it going down as I but as I bring it back closer to it, it maxes it out. If we go to electric fields, if I get it right up to it, it, it gets close to maxing it out. If I pull it away. So that gives you an idea on that one. And let's compare that to this. Pretty similar. So, any again, any electric device you can test. Laptops. Laptops, I have a um, kind of like this for my tablet that blocks through this side, it blocks the RF radiation. I have a kind of a flat board. I don't think that one's from SafeSleet, it's from another company, but it was the perfect size for my laptop and, and it worked really good, so I liked it. So that's what I use. I just have a flat uh, thing that I put under my laptop, so if I pull it on my lap, it's not. It's, it's bigger than my laptop, so I know it's blocking the radiation. Um, but it's not super big. It's not obnoxious. And it, that way, if I have it on my lap, I, I'm not worried about it. So that's, that's this meter. So I, I, hope that, <laughs> I hope that was helpful to you. Um, for measuring, you know, electric fields and uh, magnetic fields, you know, this... This seems to work just fine. I've held it up when I hold it up to electrical outlets and things like that or any electrical device I've tried it on. It, it picks. The, I've noticed the readings are a little bit different. Um, when this picks up a strong one, this picks up a strong one and vice versa. But the, I've noticed like measuring the magnetic fields in milligauss, both of them on milligauss. The, the numbers will be slightly different. I don't know which one's more accurate than the other. Um, but as far as the what you're really looking for anyway with, with those is is how strong it is. The being one or two points different in the reading doesn't, you know, I wouldn't think anyway would matter that much. Bottom line is, um, so my impression is if, if for, for reading electric fields and magnetic fields, this seems like a real inexpensive, you know, high quality solution for that so no complaints from me on that so i hope that was helpful i appreciate you stopping by and uh, i'll talk to you in the next video thanks